Center's Christina Rex is in Norwich Walk tonight. Christina, how does the search scene look tonight compared to the way things were last night? Pat, a much quieter scene here in Norwich Walk tonight. Police are trying different techniques, including stopping every single car along Route 2 to hand passengers this flyer. It includes everything they know about John Williams and details of that cash reward. They're hoping if enough people see these pictures, they might recognize the accused killer. And I want to assure the citizens of Somerset County uh, that there will be a greater police presence this evening. Police lining the streets, checking the passengers in every car for any sign of John Daniel Williams. But you haven't seen Thanks. this guy, have you? The focus, just feet from where Williams allegedly robbed a Cumberland Farms hours after killing Corporal Eugene Cole. Law enforcement sending a strong message. If John Williams is hearing this, I want you to turn yourself in. More than 40 hours after the murder of the officer, his accused killer is still on the loose. It's scary. Police say they're able to push through the exhausting hours thanks to the overwhelming community support. Throughout the day, we have received truckloads of food and beverages, as well as logistical and emotional support. All right, guys, let's move it. A group of 20 Waterville Civil Air Patrol cadets, many of them local residents, offering help any way they can. It definitely is hitting home for a lot of the cadets who live in the area. Um, several of our cadets are from this town, so this was something that was important to them and therefore very much important to me. And we are here to do anything that we can to help these officers so that we can get um, safety back in our town. Police stressing, if you see the man they say did this crime, do not engage. Instead, call 911. And some new details tonight. We're learning the suspect had a relationship with a woman named Christina Palmerlow. We know that the two were arrested together on March 22nd in Massachusetts. And actually, we're learning today that Palmerlow was arrested again on Saturday and is currently being held at the Somerset County Jail on drug charges. We did ask police if they've interviewed Palmerlow about Williams' whereabouts. They wouldn't specifically confirm that they had interviewed her, but Pat, they did say they had interviewed several people trying to figure out just where he is. Live in Norwich. Walk, Christina Rex, Pat, back to you.